Hello YouTube, it's Sean from the Pompey Games Room here, back with another pickup video. So uh, really in the swing of things now, sort of got up and running at the new house and picking up some stuff. And as you can see, I finally have a CRT TV. Only a small CRT TV, but it's a start. So this, the story of this, I'll pop some pictures in here for the spec, because I can't quite remember what it is. But it's a Sony Trinitron with state-of-the-art VCR player. The only way I can get this to turn on is by actually putting a, a video cassette in. Um, and if you want to know what's in the VCR player, it is of course Nigel Mansell and Williams. So uh, I only have two video cassettes at the moment um, and I'll show you obviously my video cassette collection. I do have a lot more Formula One videos but this is the one that obviously I use as the, you know, to get the TV to turn on. Um, and obviously the classic video that I'm actually going to be popping onto YouTube at some point, so it's not on there. I absolutely love this. Anyone that's into their VCRs and love this sort of video, Angus Deaton, one foot in the groin. It's basically sporting mishaps. Um, the, the, the tagline is bungs, bribes, drugs, and dives. A tribute to sportsmen behaving badly. Absolute classic. Search out three quid. This was sealed when it came. Uh, anyway, a pick up video. So yeah, um, really happy actually to have the 14 inch CRT because that is the size TV that I predominantly played on as a kid, so it's sort of like sized quite well. Um, I am trying to get hold of a 21 inch, I think that'll, that'll suit this little Calax unit quite well that it's sitting on. Um, and Wayne seems quite happy with it, I mean he hasn't said anything, so we'll, we'll see what happens with Wayne. But um, Anyway, um, yeah, so the game in the background is a video that I've just actually shot the review for, um, and it's Sampras Tennis. Like I said in my last pickup video, absolutely love this game with a passion. Um, but uh, yeah, I had a good game on it. Um, but the video footage kept jumping, so sorry about that if there is some video footage uh, on the video. I don't know if it was just the feed I had on my screen, but it was it was jumping around quite a lot. So anyway, you're here to see pickups, guys. There is a mixed bag. I've gotten some truly incredible bundles this uh, this month, and a few things that I, you know I've deviated from that and just gone off and bought some stuff. Um, so uh, let's get straight into it. So we're going to start off, um, let me just give you a rundown. There is an N64 game, I've got a stack of PS2 games, trying to really bulk out the PS2 collection, well collection, well there's a fair amount there. It's sort of the PlayStation shelf at the moment. Had a bit of a move around, because um, the problem is with these shelves, I didn't realise when I put them up, is that this shelf here is fixed I believe, um, or this one is. One of these two shelves here is fixed, you can't sort of move it around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these around down the line and make this shelf a bit bigger because I want to be able to stand the thing sat up as I improve the collection. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I've had a bit of a shift around and uh, yeah, one of the big Mega Drive 1 console is actually down here now. Um, I just wanted one for the collection really, so it doesn't really have to be out on show because Mega Drive 2 is the main console that I have all my memories from. But um, And it's so hot in here, it's been the hottest day of the year so far today. And there's also a fly in here which is a bit annoying, so... Um, Anyway, you might see him. So, anyway, um, let's start off. Um, yeah, like I said, I've got some PS2, big stack of PS2, big stack of SNES stuff. That was a brilliant, brilliant pickup. In fact, I actually shot a separate pickup video for that. But I got so much in that pickup video that I didn't actually upload it because there was 50 games, a console, an accessory, which um, I've actually failed to bring over the box version because I'll explain that in a minute. Um, and uh, I've also got a solitary Mega Drive game somewhere. There it is. We're actually going to start off with um, an accessory, a Sega accessory. Um, I've been on the fence with these for years, and actually it was something probably about 10 years ago that I thought, you know what, it'd be quite funny to get hold of two of these, because you can't really use just one, um, to play with my nephew Stan, who's obviously been uploading some videos with me recently. Um, and you know what, they were just so expensive, probably about 10 years ago, they were so expensive. Um, I mean, they were like 40 quid a pop, and I got these two, I kid you not, for 25 quid all in on Facebook Marketplace. Could not believe it. So, Also, if you hear lots of noise coming from here, it's my laptop is sort of overheating, and I've got a fan on. Like I said, it's so hot. So um, anyway, hopefully the game is drowned out. But anyway, what did I get? So an accessory, it's not even an accessory, but um, I got two of the Sega lock-on, uh, basically laser tag games. Um, but I got these for £25, they were listed locally, um, Facebook Marketplace, and um, wow, I mean, you know, I thought, well, 25 quid, can't go wrong, even if me and Rob just play with it in the garden. <laughs> so the one problem is this box is ripped, um, but that's the only one, the other one is absolutely immaculate. Um, 
So uh, I've got two of these because obviously you can't just have one. Um, you can't really go around sort of jumping out of bushes trying to shoot people with these. But um, they've actually been nicely decorated by the previous owners. Um, and there you go. So they're both the same. They've got the goggles here. Gun here. And the little sight thing here. Um, which I think tells you when you've been here. Um, I've watched some videos on these and they are pretty... Um, Pretty funny to say the least. Uh, some of the guys, the range isn't very good apparently, um, go figure. But uh, let me just put this on. So effectively, I think what happens is you pull this out from what I saw on the video. Oh, this isn't gonna work, I can tell. This slides on somehow. Could be a some time. Oh, okay. Just uh, keep watching Pete in the background. There we go. And then this locks in there. And then effectively, you put that on and you look dead cool running around the garden trying to shoot people. So, um, it's all about light guns at the moment. <laughs> so, um, yeah, obviously I've got two of them. So, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe me and Rob will film a video running around the garden. Um, uh, sort of trying to shoot each other but uh, yeah I've got two of these they're both fully boxed um, and it's just one of those nostalgia things really that I always wanted to add into the collection they're never really going to be used but they're always you know I'm a sucker for anything with a Sega logo on really so um, yeah two of these Bandai uh, lock-ons I mean they, they sell on eBay for sort of 40 to 30 quid each so I mean to get two for 25 quid um, yeah couldn't have been happier so yeah, two of these into the collection. Um, this one's actually in better condition, actually, because I put the one in better condition in the better condition box. Yeah, that's quite a wordy sentence, that. So, um, yeah, I don't quite know where these are going to go. Um, they'll probably go right to the top, which you can't even see on, on the screen. But, um, yeah, they'll, they'll go somewhere. But, uh, anyway. So, yeah, two lock-ons into the uh, collection. Really happy with those um, for 25 quid. I'm going to pick those up all day. Um, so, uh, next, where should we go? Probably, uh, so, eight, nearly eight minutes in. Let's, have a look. let's go for the Mega Drive stuff. So, this came from a bundle, um, and both of these things cost me nothing. Um, sold on the rest, you know, the score, um, and only kept these two things out of it. So, the one thing um, that I've wanted to get back is I had these all as a kid, and I had loads of them years ago when I was just buying everything on eBay. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I've got one back now, and I'm, I'm starting off. It's the Sega Mega Drive Power Tips book, uh, Volume Three. Uh, obviously, I've got to get the other volumes, um, but there's some, you know, brilliant games on the back there. So we've got VR Racing, we've got Dick Tracy. I think is on there. Is that Dick Tracy? No, Streets of Rage. We've got NBA Jam down the bottom, um, and it's it's essentially just a, a cheats book. Um, everything, a little review book's got loads of games in there from about the time. Oh, look at that! Full open on NHL '94, so um, you sort of know what year it is as well, and a classic game. So, yep, got that into the collection for free. I uh, bought a big Mega Drive bundle with about eight games, a console which wasn't boxed. That and this is one game I wanted to add. I've been trying to add it into my collection for probably about two, three years, um, and it's a uh, it's Street Racer. Uh, really, really quirky little street racing game, <laughs> end zone. Um, but really, really quirky little sprites. Obviously, it was a proper little Mario Kart ripoff. Um, but yeah, just a brilliant game. And the best thing is, it was a four-player game, as you can see right at the bottom there, one to four. You used to be able to use a multi-tap with this, and it worked really well. Um, yeah, so you could play. There was a football game, which is probably yeah, it's actually on the top there. Um, so there's a football game that you could play as like a deathmatch thing, but you could also do head-to-head -head battles and racing and stuff. Really, really good little game. You've got to search out Street Racer, but it, it commonly goes for about 20 quid. So I thought, well, if I can find a bundle with it, I'll just pick it up. Like I said, it came in with the Mega Drive book um, and the console bundle. I literally, so weird, just the quickest thing I've ever sold on eBay. I got it in on the, what day would it have been? Probably a Tuesday. I listed it Wednesday night. And by Friday morning it had sold and I posted it Saturday. So literally it sat around for so little time. And I kept these two things. So Into the collection for free. Um, I am balancing this stuff on the bin down there. So uh, I don't think that's gonna, it's going to last very long. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, what's next? So next let's go to... Let's not go to Snares yet because there's quite a lot there. Uh, let's go to a charity shop pickup. I've got two of them. So the next one will lead to this it's a different system so i only got the one it's a playstation game uh, one of the early playstation games i haven't even checked to see if the actual discs in here it is in here um which is nice um 
actually in really good condition as well. <laughs> sure, really looks like that. Anyway, um, I was on a survey in West East Wittering, West Wittering, not East Wittering. Doesn't doesn't make any sense to you. Just saw the game there, um, and there's a really really decent charity shop there. They always have really good stuff. And I actually found some stuff in the boot that I had to donate, which is weird. So I took this bag in and they were really grateful of it. They said, surprisingly, even with COVID, they've had no one donating stuff, which is the weirdest thing I've ever heard of because every charity shop around sort of this area was just saying, we're not taking stuff, we're full. Anyway, I went in there, I found, actually found uh, three games, but the other one they couldn't find this for, so I just left it. Um, but they were two quid a pop. And the first one I got was Adidas Power Soccer 1997. So many memories of this game with my mate Ben. Uh, playing this. We had a demo disc of it as well, I seem to recall Ed and I uh, playing it quite a lot. But it's in the old case, the old style case of the black spines and things. Really, really cool little case. And it's fully boxed and for two quid, uh, I wasn't going to leave it there. Uh, they had five or six other games um, and I could, I mean to be fair, there's always stuff in that shop. I, if I wanted to go back and get them, I probably could tomorrow because I'm actually on a survey down there again. Um, so, but yeah, really, really revolutionary game on the um, the PlayStation. Uh, everyone played this game back in sort of the early 90s. So, um, yeah, really, really intrigued to throw these back on and give it a go. Really, really love my football games, especially the PlayStation ones. You used to have outrageous moves like a predator kick where you could score from like anywhere on the pitch. Um, you could turn fouls off and sort of foul the ref, I seem to recall, on this. Really, really fun little game. Um, so, yeah, search it out for sure. Commonly sells, I think, online for about five or six quid um, but yeah it's just sort of two quid and I uh, had to get it so the next one starts off a, um, a purchases for a system um, that I got a big pickup uh, for a big bundle um, and um, but this wasn't part of it this was from the charity shop as well so this was two pound and um, this was one I did check to see it was all in there and it's NHL 2003 um, in my uh, PlayStation 2 video I'm going to be putting up very, very soon, this features very heavily because I remember this is one of the first games I got on release. Um, I was so excited to get this game, I, I couldn't wait to get it. Um, it was uh, it coincides with when I really got the console as well, so um, yeah, there'll be more in the PlayStation video. Brilliant game, um, this was when uh, EA on all of their sort of sports games, they'd introduce a new sports engine. Whereas the FIFA games had improved, the NFL games and the um, the NHL games. Just to put a comparison for you, where is NHL 2002? So, it doesn't really look it on here, but um, effectively they went from a more cartoony on the 2002s on everything to a more sort of, they digitised everything, everything was a lot clearer. So 2003, it was a new engine really, everything was redesigned, the players looked, it just played so much better. Um, yeah, really, really great little game, and uh, it, it looks like it's never been played as well. So, um, NHL 2002 was a massive fan of. So, yeah, I mean, to get NHL 2003 on release, there's a story behind that. When I, I just worked so much overtime, it was unbelievable when I was at orders um, to get those. So, um, yeah, let's get on to the uh, PlayStation 2 bundle. Um, like I said, I got really, really lucky with a PlayStation 2 bundle. Um, I think it cost me 140 quid all in all um, and believe it or not I only kept a fraction of the games uh, and a controller because I needed another controller. Sold off the rest and um, yeah pretty much I think all this has cost me 15 quid I worked out before um, after selling all the other stuff. So 15 quid for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So for 13 games, so what are you looking at there? £1.15, £1.20 a game, which you know, you're not going to get. So uh, There are no particular order, um, these. Um, there are a few that, I mean, I'll just go through them. So uh, yeah, like I said, these have cost me 15 quid all in. Really, really happy with the purchases I've got here. So the first one is a game that my older brother, um, Glenn, uh, sadly no longer with us, um, used to love the game series for. So I'm, I'm sort of desperate to try and get into it along with like Zelda and stuff. I want to like it. But it's worked really well with the Mortal Kombat games. I've gone back and replayed those and really started to enjoy them. So um, anyway, the first one is Killzone. Um, now, I'm not too sure. I think, is this just an online game? Um, I don't know, because it says with network play. Does that mean it's just network play? I'm not too sure. Uh, the Killzone games were always pretty decent when I saw Glenn playing them. Um, fully boxed, in really good condition, and the disc looks like literally it's never been played and it's spotless. I'm not really gonna show you because it makes no difference. So I've got Killzone, 
Uh, next one I've really got to show all together because um, I've got a really, really funky little set here. So I got Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories, and Stories, sorry, and this little cool box set thing which folds out. Um, so obviously I've got Voice City here, Liberty City Stories, which is with the map and it's fully boxed, there's a manual behind it here, things like that. I'm really happy with that. So, uh, yep, Liberty City Stories. And then this pack contains Grand Theft Auto 3 and Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Um, and it folds out in this little box and they're both in individual sleeves. Um, and they come with the maps and everything sort of in there, both sides. Um, yeah, really, really happy with these. In fact, I haven't even looked at the condition of these. So Vice City, so it's a double pack on it as well. And yeah, it's fully boxed. Uh, map and manual, yep, that's fully boxed. This looks a bit scratched, but I think I've actually got Vice City somewhere, so I might just switch them out. Um, and let's have a quick look at Grand Theft Auto 3. Uh, maps here, so probably not in here. Yeah, and Grand Theft Auto 3, and another map in there, so I've got two maps. Anyone needs a map for Grand Theft Auto Vice City uh, 3, let me know. That one looks like it's been played quite a lot as well. Um, in fact, I've just put it in there, that's fine. Um, so yeah, I've never seen that little box set, so I'm really, really happy to add that into the collection for sure. And um, I think that's going to look pretty cool when it's sat on there. So um, yeah, really happy. So remember, this stuff only cost me 15 quid to get in, which is crazy. Next one was actually funny. Um, would have been one of the games that I moved on. But that day, one of the YouTubers um, put a gameplay up. I can't quite remember who it was. Of Wipeout. Um, and it was Wipeout Fusion, sorry. Should have called it that straight away. Um, it's not an expensive game, but I thought, well, I've got it here. Why, why move it on? Um, so I, yeah, I've just, I've kept it. So I'm just repositioning the fan here because I'm actually baking. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, uh, that's going to vibrate. Should be fine. Should be fine. We've got a tiny fan over there, but it's it's pretty decent. Um, Wipeout Fusion. Yeah, it's it's a game that's probably about three or four quid, but like I said, it came in in the bundle, and it looks like literally it's never been played. The manual's like brand new. Um, and this, I'm not gonna show you, it's just brilliant, uh, brilliant. The music on this is, is fantastic, the actual gameplay is brilliant, the mechanics on it are great. Gonna be a game that I do um, a review on uh, down the line uh, for sure. Just a really, really solid game. Next one, I've gotten really, really into the later versions of this game. I don't even know if they're related. Um, they must be though, because it's a Rockstar game. Um, and that is Red Dead Revolver. Really, really interested to get into this game series. I absolutely love Red Dead Redemption. One of my favorite games um, on the Xbox I've been playing for a long time. Um, it's just a fantastic game, and this looks like it's never been played. Um, a game, I think it sells for about 10 quid by itself. Um, disc's a little bit worse for wear. <laughs> I don't know why I showed you. Disc's a little bit worse for wear, but um, yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to getting into this and giving it a go. And it's one or two player as well. So I think what we're going to do obviously is try and get Rob over and we'll try and do some game nights, which is good because um, obviously I live a lot closer to Rob now. Um, and we have discussed doing once a month, just doing a games night and sort of filming some footage or something like that. Um, any game, I mean, we've got quite a few things to choose from here. Um, but yeah, there's a lot to look forward to coming forward on my channel with sort of gameplays and stuff. And, um, and also lighting as well <laughs> to look forward to because I notice my face is really dark here. Um, but it's because obviously I'm working with a blind here in front of me. Um, I need to get some lighting sorted in here, but you know, bear with me, we're still sort of getting there. But you know, you want to see the games and I'm trying to keep those in light for you. That is the only problem and downside of downlighters, pardon the pun. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so that's one to two players. I'm really looking forward to giving that a go with Rob, along with like the Smackdown games and things like that. So um, yeah, all good. Um, so the next one is a game series that's always really intrigued me. I think I'm, I don't know if I'm correct in saying it, Betty Hall Clinics played this game a long time ago and it always intrigued, I think it was Betty Hall Clinic anyway, um, Bill, and that is Destroy All Humans. Um, really, really looks good this game. It's made by THQ, the guys that did all the wrestling games. Um, and effectively, yeah, it's just a go, you know, going, run and gun game, going around shooting and um, yeah, you're an alien trying to destroy all the humans. So as it says, so uh, I haven't even looked at this. Yeah, this looks like it's brand new. Um, and manual's never ever been opened, so really, really happy with that. Um, again, 15 quid for all this, guys. Um, yeah, could not be happier with this bundle. Um, I'm just reorganizing some stuff here, because this is the game I want to keep to the end. 
it's one that I bought the bundle for effectively, it's what I saw. So, um, so uh, the next game into the collection, which I'm pretty sure I've actually got. Um, you know what, I haven't got it. I was positive I had it, but anyway. Oh no, I have, I have got it. Oh, that's a muck up. So the next game I kept was Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, but I've actually got my original. So um, forget this. Um, if anyone wants GTA, let me know. It doesn't have a map, but I think there was an extra map in the other one. So we'll see if that works. But anyway, if anyone wants GTA, should have looked at that really. And that can go on the eBay pile. Another game, a uh, big, big fan of these games on the uh, GameCube and N64, I think it was N64, definitely GameCube, and that is Time Splitters 2. Brilliant game series, absolutely love this with a passion back in my Chichester College um, construction BTEC course that I did years and years ago, in like 2002 to 2004. Fantastic game, and it's fully boxed. I mean, who doesn't love Time Splitters? Such a great game series. Um, absolutely brilliant multiplayer game. Love this game with a passion. Really looking forward to putting this on and playing it. Um, another game is uh, a game that's come from my brother, older brother, um, and that is a game series that he absolutely loved as well. And a game series that I watched on G4 Icons, um, where they review the video game series and do like it's like a little documentary series that they do. Um, and that is Half Life. Um, really, really looking forward to giving this a go. I've got so much goodness to play on the PlayStation 2. I can really see myself getting into that console um, because I would say probably that and the um, these two consoles here, PlayStation 2 and the um, Mega Drive, probably N64 as well, hold the most nostalgic memories for me. But I'm really, really loving picking stuff up for the PlayStation 2 at the moment. Um, and the games just look they're just so cool with the little memory card slot at the top. And they're always, you know, they're, they're really, the manuals are really good on them as well. They really go into self-explanatory stuff. And it's the last console I can really remember actually picking up a manual and going, actually, you know what, these are absolutely brilliant. Um, you know, you can actually properly look through these and, and get an idea of what you have to do on the game, which is sort of what a manual's for. So um, Half-Life, really, really looking forward to playing on this game. Um, Effectively, uh, you're just guiding through um, a factory complex where I believe the experiment's gone wrong, uh, mutations and things like that, and you've just got to save as many people as you can and just get the levels. Standard storyline, really, but it's how it plays, isn't it? So, um, man, I've got to open a door. Whew, God, that's had to have a breather. Absolutely crazy hot, you know, unbelievable. Open the little trickle vent now, so that might make a bit of difference as well, but we'll see. So, next PlayStation 2 game. Um, a game series that I really enjoy playing, uh, especially on the PlayStation 3, I seem to recall I had quite a few. In fact, I believe... No, I haven't really got a PlayStation 3 collection anymore, don't know why I did that. Uh, anyway, um, so next one is Splinter Cell. Um, again, with network play, so I'm not even too sure if I can play this one player. I'm pretty sure I can. Uh, really, really stealthy game. Um, some great screenshots on the back here. Going around trying to obviously get through without getting detected and sort of uh, you know, taking out the bad guys. Um, this actually has a really beat up disc. Um, yeah, really beat up. There's a really heavy scratch on this, so I'm not too sure it's even going to play. But it is in fantastic condition. Uh, manuals look like it's never even been looked at. But I'll pick up another game for this for sure and give that a go. It's actually quite handy actually because I nearly forgot to show something. It was over the other side. So going to open up the door just a minute ago has done me a favour. Um, next game is Fully Box again, and that is Gran Turismo 4, a game I remember getting for Christmas one year for my parents. Um, and uh, yeah, really, really appreciative of this. I, I pumped so many happy hours into this game. It's unbelievable. Um, yeah, really, really good driving simulator game. I'd say probably the last Gran Turismo that I actually bought, I would say, or bought and played um, back in the PlayStation 2 days. Um, yeah, this is one obviously got every single one from when and played every single one. But this is the last one I really played and put a lot of time into. So really, really happy to get this in and to go back to playing this for sure. So this next one is actually the reason I bought the bundle. I've been trying to pick this game up and failing miserably for probably about sort of, I'll be honest, about two, three years. Um, and I finally got it obviously in a bundle. And... Um, yeah, really, really looking forward to giving this a go. And it's uh, it's by the creators of uh, Grand Theft Auto, and that is 
well, it's bully effectively, and that's uh, Canis Can Edit. Um, Canis Canum Edit. Uh, and effectively, you play a school bully going around um, bullying people. <laughs> no, but it's in like a GTA sort of um, uh, sort of thing. It comes with a map as well. And this game is like immaculate. It's never even been played by the looks of it. The map is like brand new in there. The manual's like brand new. And the disc has not got a spot on it. Um, yeah, it's like fantastic condition. Um, so I got all this stuff for 15 quid. All those PlayStation games effectively. Um, I'm so happy to get those. Um, yeah, can't say... Can't say how happy I was enough, really. Um, absolutely brilliant deal that I got on that. I was so, so happy to get it. It was one of those things that when I put the bid on, I put it on quite late, um, which I'll be honest, I do a lot. I wait usually to about five seconds to put on bids. And it, you know, I have lost a lot of games that way because obviously you put you put a bid on and sometimes if your internet drops out, you lose it. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a bit annoying, but it's, it's a chance you take, isn't it? But um, anyway, so. So, uh, next one is a box upgrade, um, because it didn't have a box. You might notice, uh, in fact you probably wouldn't have, but down here in my previous videos there was a, um, a loose game, and uh, that was Earthworm Jim 3D. Finally got one in, um, and I won this. Um, I sold my, I checked on what the cartridge was going for. The cartridge was going for, how much was it going for? I think it went for 23 quid or something like that. Um, and the box, I won this in an auction for 24. So effectively, I've got, uh, I remember how much it cost me to buy that one as well, it was 12 quid, um, because I bought it at one of the replay events. Um, so effectively, this has cost me 13 quid to get into the collection, boxed and complete. Um, and it is like in immaculate condition in there. Um, and it's got one of those built-in trays, as you can see, which you won't be able to see, but it's got a built-in tray in there. So obviously I've got the cart, and I've got the instruction manual and the FM gym manual. So yeah, really, really happy to get that into the collection. It's a really, really decent game. It comes in for a lot of flack, Earthworm Gym 3D, but it's one of those games if you throw some hours into it and really get used to it, it's, it's a really, really cool game. Um, really, really happy to get it. Um, so yeah, I did that into the collection as well. So the next one, um, the next game uh, I'm gonna uh, share with you, sorry. Baby Monster just fell over, I'm trying to balance that as well. There we go. Um, Next game, uh, I'm going to show you, it's not a game, uh, it's some SNES games. So, um, I'm going to start off with a deal I got locally, um, and that was for £200, and it came with a Street Fighter console, uh, and about three other games, um, and I, also, I sold the stuff on eBay for actually more than I bought it for, um, and I kept these games for free, so these haven't cost me a penny. So, first off, I'm going to show uh, a game... That I've been trying to get for a long time, um, and I did get, but I sold it on because it was really, really rubbish condition. So this stuff is free um, after the bundle buying, and uh, the first thing I got is a boxed SNES controller, uh, and it is fully boxed as well. I'm not going to get it out because it took me forever to get this back in the box, but there is a little pamphlet in there, um, which you can just hit the bottom. The controller's in there, wrong end I opened. Um, in fact, this end's sealed, so I can't open that. Um, but anyway, that's sealed up there. Uh, yeah, really, really great conditioned uh, SNES box, uh, a box controller, effectively. It's all in there, really, really happy with it, and you can never have too many controllers, but to get one in box for free, you're going to take that all day long. So, so the next two games, um, one is out of its box protector because I've played it, um, the other one I haven't even put on yet, but it's using the Super FX chip, so I'm really, really intrigued to try this, and that is Stump Rates FX. It's supposed to be a really, really decent little game, um, it's like a 3D um, sort of road game. I, I, I want to say it's racing, but I don't know. If, it looks like it's racing. A bit of everything. Uh, we'll, we'll pop this on and give it a go at some point. But it's in a box protector, so it's very reflective. Um, but uh, yeah, that is box and complete. He says. Um, I don't think I've checked it actually. Um, I'm pretty sure it's box and. Oh no, no, I did. I did check this one. Um, I only know now because this. <laughs> Difficult is the box protector, it's really difficult to get in. There we go, we're in. We're in. Jesus, I will not believe how hot it is in here. It's unbelievable. Right, uh, so manual at the back there, cart, tray, really happy for nothing into the collection. Um, obviously, I'm a big fan of Star Fox, Star Wing, sorry, Star Fox, um, which uses a Super FX chip. So 
yeah, to get another Super FX chip game, I was always going to do it. Um, but obviously, the price had to be right, i.e. free. So, um, yeah, for free, uh, this came with, along with a controller. Um, so, um, Stunt Race FX into the collection. We'll give it a go at some point. Um, looks pretty decent. Reminds me of uh, Play-Doh, the models on the front. Don't know why. Anyway. Cool. Anyway, into the collection. Next game, massive fan of this guy. Um, in fact... He's off screen. He's off screen, guys. Oh, that's embarrassing. I can't find it now. Um, anyway, I'll put a picture in. Um, went to meet this guy when he had his museum um, on the Isle of Man. Lovely guy. Had so much time for everyone when he went to see him. One of my Formula One racing heroes. Um, and, of it, well, actually, perfect example. This is a remote controlled car I had as a kid. It's not the actual one. My dad ran over my one. Um, but this is an old Romancel in IndyCar, in Newman Haas, um, big Kmart logo, but my dad ran over this when I was a kid. Managed to get this on eBay, I've been trying to find one for years, and I say years, ever since I joined eBay, this was actually one of my first searches back in 2005, whatever it was. Um, never found one, um, and I've tried to get it working with multiple controllers, um, my father-in-law also managed to find me on the dump. Um, managed to find me one of the charging packs and it's not having it, it's not working. Um, so I've got to try and sort that out and get that working. But anyway, I digress. Uh, the next game into the collection is uh, Nigel Mansell uh, and Newman has IndyCar featuring Nigel Mansell. Really, really decent little game this, really, really cool. I'm gonna definitely do a gameplay on this, but it is actually really, really impressive, the sprites on this game. And it's such an underrated game. If you're a racing ga uh, game fan, you've got to give this a go. It's a brilliant game, and I will do a gameplay of it at some point. I've already taken out the stuff, um, which is obviously fully boxed. Just got to clean the cartridges and seal it. Manual, obviously, right about. The best thing is the guys have written on loads of cheats on the back. So, anyone wants some cheats for Nigel Mansell, Inley Carnum, and House, they're all there for you, so you can pause it. Um, I think they're their track selects and things like that, because I was aware there was a track select mode on it. So, um, anyway. Uh, so into the collection for free, absolute gentleman Nigel Ansel. Um had so much time for people that went to his his uh, sort of open day, he was in attendance at his museum, he would just casually walk up to you and start talking about stuff, you know, um, which is amazing because obviously you would pay to be there and you had the information in front of you for what certain things were and you just come and go, yep, won that, and even for one person, he even took the medal out and let him look at it, which is crazy, but uh, anyway, um, yeah, really, really nice guy. Have so much to say about Nigel Mansell. So he comes across as a bit of a bore, and apparently not a lot of people have a lot of time to say a nice word about him. Um, but uh, no, he was amazing to the fans, and he really made that day for me. I would have put some pictures in, but really, 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 yeah, look, really, really happy. So anyway, we get on to... Oh, sorry, no, there was one other game that came in in that bundle, and it just came like this, and that is Super Mario All-Stars. I think featuring Super Mario World. Um, so again, that was for free. That just came in just in the box. So it didn't come with anything else. Um, so that stuff there cost me nothing. Uh, this was a very expensive buy. And like I said, I actually shot a pickup video for this separately. Um, I shot a video, it was a huge video. It went on for 40 minutes. I kid you not, there was 50 SNES games, an accessory, which I've kept. Um, and a console, which was fully boxed. It came with books, it came with manuals, magazines, everything. Um, I've since sold on everything else. This stuff here that I've kept has cost me 30 quid. Um, so I, I lost 30 quid on the bundle, but this has cost, this is actually, I couldn't have bought this stuff for 30 quid. So, <laughs> very, very happy. So, um, the first game, they're all loose, so I'm gonna be trying, well, I say they're all loose, one of them is actually a box upgrade um, for a game that I owned. Um, and uh, the first one is, just talking about Nigel, uh, is Nigel Mansell World Championship. Another game that's pretty decent. Um, decent racing game. Uh, really, really good mechanics on this. So really, really happy to get this. I'm really, really looking forward to popping it on and giving it a go. So Nigel Mansell uh, Championship. Next one is a Super Game Boy player. Really, really happy to get this because I've got a few Game Boy carts knocking around. Never really played them um, because my Game Boy box down here is everything's in there, even the headphones, which are sealed, apart from Game Boy. 
So I've just got to get a Game Boy and we're all laughing. You might remember that my father-in-law picked up this on the landfill many years ago, um, which did have a Game Boy with it. Oh, no, sorry. I lied. I've got loads of Game Boy games in here. These were all found on a landfill by my father-in-law. Um, anyway, um, I digress. Um, yeah, I haven't got a Game Boy because the Game Boy didn't work that came in that box, so um, I'm going to be getting a new one. going to be getting one of those, sorry. Not a new one. So, Super Game Boy player. We had a great go now, I suppose. <laughs> Give it a go, see what it's about. So this stuff cost me 30 quid, don't forget guys. Um, so, uh, next one, it came with a manual in the pack, but no case. That's Urban Strike. So I'll be looking for boxes for these down the line, little upgrades and things. Next one is the Apple <laughs> Desert Strike, another Strike game. I kept these, I was gonna move them on, but I love them on the Mega Drive, so I haven't tried them on the SNES. So I'm really, really intrigued to try them and see what they're like. Probably exactly the same, let's be honest. But. Uh, um, another game with its manual, and that is Zul. Um, Zul, sounding like French there, but uh, yep, Zul. Uh, pretty cutie sort of platformer game, um, and really looking forward to playing this. I only played it on the Mega Drive, but apparently it plays really well on the SNES as well, so I'm going to give it a go on that. Uh, we've also got Cool Spot. Uh, cool Spot 1, I believe. Again, that plays a lot different apparently on the SNES than the Mega Drive. FIFA 96, and. FIFA 97 somewhere. There is a FIFA 97, so we all know what the FIFAs look like, but I'm a big fan. FIFA 96 is actually my favourite game in the FIFA series on the Mega Drive. So, Next one I'm really looking forward to giving a go, and that's International Superstar Soccer. I'm really looking forward to throwing this on, giving it a go. Again, guys, 30 quid for all this stuff. Can't go wrong. Um, still a few gems to come as well. Super WrestleMania, a game that I'm amazed I didn't own, but uh, I didn't. Um... NHL PA Hockey 1993. Uh, a Game Genie. Got one for the Mega Drive. Not got one for the SNES. This stuff's so going to fall in a minute. Uh, the Incredible Crash Dummies. A game that I have owned on the Mega Drive. And it's really fun to play. Really, really cool little platformer. Great idea. You lose body parts instead of life. When you lose enough body parts you can't move, it's game over. It reminds me of the scene from... Um, Holy, is it the Monty Python film, Holy Grail? That's, that's really bad, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but when the knight's trying to fight and they keep chopping off his legs and stuff. Yeah, reminds me of that, whenever you die on that. And the next one, um, you might remember uh, my birthday in 2020, I went to the Isle of Wight with my family. Um, for just a, We just went for a day, took my daughter to the Dinosaur Museum, and uh, we went to a game store there, Infinity Games, and I picked up Super Star Wars, which was car only, well, no longer as I got this in the box, it was a fully boxed game. So um, effectively, this was one of the only boxed games that it came with. Um, so, and that is fully boxed. It's got my game that's already sealed in there, it's all been cleaned and sealed, and manuals in there as well, but this thing is like in immaculate condition. But the best thing I love about this is, one, it's got a poster in it. I've always touched on how I love the posters. So, Super Nintendo poster there, and it's got two manuals, which is really weird. Um, it's got two instruction booklets. Obviously, this one is a foreign language. I think I'm right in saying that this is the Netherlands version or something like that, Holland version, but it is all English on the back, so I don't quite know what's going on there. And then you obviously get the English manual, which is black and white, but um, you get Super Nintendo card with it as well. Awfully box, absolutely incredible condition. I'm happy to get into the collection free really really happy to get that in so that is all the games guys um could not be happier with it uh that bundle would never have gotten that for 30 quid but that's not it because it came with something else it came with an accessory and you know how much i'm on to my light gun phase at the moment so you know what's coming and it came with a fully boxed super scope 6 could not be happier to get this in um, really, really happy with this. So let's quickly open it. Obviously, the last pickup video, I got the Menacer uh, from Simeon, which I used for the first day the other day, Simeon. Absolutely brilliant, man. It's absolutely, I'm so happy to have it. Um, anyway, cannot thank you enough. I hate to say I haven't even opened this, so I don't even know if it's fully boxed. No, it doesn't look like it's an instruction manual, but to be honest, it's pretty self-explanatory. So. Fully boxed, super stuff, not fully boxed, no instructions. Um, into the collection, so obviously you get your Super Scope 6 game. Uh, you get the sensor, 
and you get the actual gun itself with some sights in the back there. Um, yeah, really, really happy to get this into the collection. So, 30 quid. Um, I got loads of SNES games. I mean, like loads. Like there was 50 games that came in a bundle. I would have put some video footage up. I would have put the video up separately because I, I, it arrived in a box. The funny thing was I had no idea what was coming because the listing was so bad. It was just games on their side. There was no names to the games, so I didn't know if I was going to be getting a Zelda game or a Mario game. And you know what? It's the first SNES bundle I've ever bought, and there was no Nintendo. There was no Nintendo game. There was no Super Mario game in it, which I didn't even think you could do. Uh, I didn't think you could buy a SNES bundle and not have a Mario game in it, but apparently you can. So um, yeah, guys, that's it. Um, big pickups again from me. I got I got loads of stuff. I've actually just scored another really good deal as well. So next month's pickups or whenever I shoot my next pickup video is sorted. I'm really, really happy to get this bundle in as every game I'm keeping. I'm not selling it on apart from the console. So that's why I'm sort of making a bit of money back. Um, yeah, cannot be happy with those guys. Hope everyone's keeping safe and well. Um, and until next time, guys, please feel free to comment, rate and subscribe. And I'll see you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.